What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London. How are you doing? And welcome to a video with my True Blood Lamborghini. It's been about three weeks since this car has featured on my YouTube channel. And I wanna take this opportunity to bring you a sort of second update to 2016. Now that I've had January to plan and organize some of the year, I wanna talk about some of the really important things that have been going on in my channel. I've been reading all of your comments across YouTube videos, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and making sure that I'm taking a note of everything that you guys want to see this year from Supercars of London. So let's firstly kick off with Supercars of London clothing. Now on Sunday I launched two different products, two jumpers, one in True Blood and one in Black. I wanted to replicate the Lamborghini as they are limited. There is only a hundred of each jumper. There is a hundred red and a hundred black and they went online on Sunday so make sure that you head over to the supercarsoflondon.co.uk website because there is the competition where I will be delivering a couple of orders in the Lamborghini filming another reaction video like you saw towards the end of 2015 so make sure that you head over and check out the products because they are limited they are numbered there are only going to be a hundred of each moving on to one of the most important topics that I have been highly frustrated with with my own channel and own videos on supercars in London which is multiple camera angles Angles. And if you saw my first update of 2016, you would have seen that it was a priority of mine to upgrade my camera equipment, get more cameras, and get better at editing so that I can bring you some really cool videos from multiple angles because I'm having some amazing opportunities recently. And annoyingly, only really being able to get one angle. It really frustrated me during the Ford Mustang video as I only bought one camera. I had no idea what to expect from that day, so it was a real spontaneous video that I actually filmed. Just in general, I want to have better cameras camera equipment and get better at editing, which is why I have added to my camera equipment a couple of 4K action cams, which will be coming very, very soon. I am waiting for the delivery of them, and as soon as I get them, you will know, you will see, because I'm gonna be making some really, really cool videos. I'm gonna be able to suction them up to all over the car. There's gonna be some amazing cool angles and it is gonna be in 4K. So with that being said, I am very, very excited about some of the things that I have got planned very soon on this YouTube channel. And I was not expecting January to be as busy or as good as it was. I was absolutely thrilled to be able to drive the likes of the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, the V12 Vantage S and all sorts of really, really cool cars. So I'd just like to apologize for the lack of I suppose camera angles on those videos because it was it was annoying me just editing it, watching my face. So I can't imagine what it's like for you guys. So now we move on to the exciting part of this video, which is to do with that and to do with the Lamborghini dream and to do with the roads that I have got here. So what I'm gonna plan on doing is setting up some cameras on these roads because there's no one about, no one can really steal my cameras. So I'm gonna try that now, set up some cameras and let's see how we get on. Okay, so we are now in the cockpit of the Lamborghini with a slightly different camera angle. I know I normally like stick it up here, but I wanted to try today and try and rattle the through points and really make an effort to get more camera angles. Even though I've only got two cameras, I'm gonna do my best to at least get used to having to change up the camera angle so that when I get these 4K action cams, I can really play around, find all of the good spots within a car that I can talk to the camera whilst I'm driving it without taking my eyes off the road. So let's start here. I think it's important when we start off driving this car that we touch upon what makes the Lamborghini so good at being a Lamborghini and being an out-and-out -out supercar? So this 
is really where this car sits in terms of its environment on tight twisty country roads where you just want to take this car for a quick 45 minute to an hour blast warm the engine up to optimum temperature and then absolutely hoon it and i think that is the best way to describe what this lamborghini is all about it is all about being an out and out supercar and hoona that is the hoona is the right word it's so aggressive it's so antisocial that this car when you're sat behind the wheel of it it does make your hair on the back on your back stand up it gives you goosebumps and it really really keeps you on the edge as a supercar i really don't think that there is anything better than this crazy lamborghini with an army tricks exhaust and my Lamborghini dream was back when I was 15 all I wanted was a Lamborghini that looked amazing and sound amazing and personally obviously this is my car so I think this is the best looking Gallardo out there and it's really cool and thank you to everyone that comments pretty much exactly the same thing when I post pictures of this it does look amazing dub customs DMC SB race engineering have done amazing things to this car to make it one of the best Gallardos that is out there to look at and to hear. So why am I talking about this car in such a way? And I suppose I've been so nervous to make this video because for the last five years or so, all I was banging on about was owning a Lamborghini. And maybe, just maybe, I shouldn't have rushed into it and made sure that I'd done it by the age of 25. Maybe I should have waited. The Gallardo is such a fantastic car and by far the last of the crazy Lambos. The single clutch gearbox is the most aggressive thing I've ever felt, passengers of this car have ever felt. This car is just so aggressive and that is what Lamborghini all about, making the driver, the passenger, people that see the car smile and that's exactly what this car does. It, it turns heads everywhere that you go. However, moving on into 2016, the plans that are happening, the road trips that are happening, the miles that need to be covered. On these road trips, unfortunately, I have been working on a video like this for the last month. Throughout January, I have been planning precisely dates, locations, places, cars that I really, really want to visit, want to achieve and want to film this year, which is why the uploads have been every other day, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays is what I've been trying to keep to. And the most fundamental aspect of 90% of the plans that I have involve covering loads of miles in a really, really, really cool car. And as much as the Lamborghini is an incredible car, it sadly doesn't fit my personal criteria of what car I want to drive. And it is so difficult for me to say this. I mean, this is probably like my 20th take. We're about two hours into this video, me filming, trying to word it right so that it comes across right. And I can only ask you guys to be supportive of my decision of Actually, the Lamborghini dream has happened. I achieved the Lamborghini dream, but there might be better cars out there suited to what I want to achieve this year, what car I want to drive. And I've done the four-wheel drive R8. I've done the four-wheel drive Gallardo. I really, really want to try learning about driving a car that is rear-wheel drive, and that's something that is on the criteria, my priority list of replacing the Lamborghini. I'm gonna be replacing this car with something that has just as much road presence as this, that sounds just as good as this. There's no way that I'm gonna keep a car stock that I replace the Lamborghini with. But I want a car that has the, just the comforts of a 2015, 2016 car, a place that I can spend and enjoy for over two hours i'm going to be on the road quite a lot this year so i need a car that can cover miles easily but in comfort as well that has all of the technology within this car the likes of connecting just simple things like connecting my iphone up so that i can listen to my own music through speakers so 
Oh my God, I'm just laughing because I'm so nervous. Double clutch gearbox, rear wheel drive, something that sounds amazing, that's got the road presence of a car like a Lamborghini, something that's customizable, and something that goes as fast as this. They are the most important factors, so if you have any suggestions, please put a comment in the comment box below. Hopefully you can support my decision. I know that it sounds absolutely crazy that I potentially am replacing the love of my life, the Lamborghini dream that I've been striving for for so long. And it's so good to just continue to challenge yourself, and to continue to stretch yourself to the next goal. And I'm slowly coming to terms with what my next goals are. And with the road trips, with the adventures that I've got planned, that are gonna make insane vlogs. They're gonna be daily uploaded and they are gonna be covered so, hopefully so well on Supercars of London with all of my new camera equipment that I just feel that it is right, it is the right time to replace this baby. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to Supercars of London. Thank you so much for supporting me, and hopefully you can understand the decision that I'm having to make over the next two months. And please leave your suggestions in the comment box below. I look forward to reading all of your comments. I'd just like to say thank you again for watching. Make sure that if you haven't already, click the subscribe button and hit a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video and you can't wait for number plates, cameras, and potentially a new car to come to Supercars of London. I will see you soon, guys. Cheers. I'm gonna just love every minute of it. So um, here we go. Let's jump inside this car and go for a drive. Right, I am now in the cockpit of the Aston Martin V12 Vantage S. Oh my God. This is the key, the glass Aston Martin key that I've been provided to slot in the middle 